Okay, uh, I'm going to play the uh, great standard Don't Blame Me. This is in the real book and it's an absolute must learn for all jazz musicians. <clears throat> um, I'm going to play a little bit of my own version first and then I'm going to play a simplified version that I have written out for students and uh, if you're interested in getting the sheet music you can contact me at the uh, email below and uh, just request it. So first of all let me do a little oh, don't blame me. Okay, that's a shortened version of kind of how I would play it, just off of the top of my head. And let me get into this uh, little arrangement here. So we start off... Okay, so the first chord, we have a C6-9, now it's going to do, go to the F minor 11th, which goes to the B flat 9th, and we hold down the melody note, okay, and we change all the notes underneath except for the C, because that's a common tone between the F minor 11th and the B flat 9th. See how that goes? So. Then we have an E minor 11th to an A 9th. Okay. Now we have an A 7th with a C sharp in the bass. D minor 7th, F major 7th with the G in the bass. Now we're going to do a G with an F in the bass. I like to do that parallel motion a lot. Contrary motion rather, sorry. Where we have the melody going in one direction, the bass going in the opposite direction, okay? I have that in common with Brahms, I guess. E minor 7th, A minor 7th, it's actually the 9th, it's got the 9th in there. D minor, again, same thing, we're going to do the F major 7th over the G, only this is in contrary motion, it's going in the same direction. We have the G over the F, G major over the F, E minor, B flat ninth, A ninth, okay, complete parallel motion between the ninth chords, very much like Debussy might do. Then we 
we have D minor, ninth, G thirteenth, G over F, now the three six two five, E minor seventh, A flat thirteenth, flat ninth. Now we have D minor seventh to G thirteenth. Okay. Next measure, next eight measures are the same, basically. The turnaround into the bridge is a little different. You have the G minor 11th going to the C 9th. Now this bridge, we're going to have E major 7 going to F major 7, just follows the mel melody in parallel motion. We're going to continue with the same parallel motion, okay, E flat 9th uh, ninth to E 9th, then A minor 11th, okay, B half diminished, E. 7th with the flat ninth, A minor 7th, A minor 6th, it's just a descending 7th, okay, D ninth, A minor 9th, A minor 11th, the D ninth, D minor 11th, continue, same as before, this deceptive cadence, the D flat, 6, 9, 5th, and the major 7th, and then I put in a little run at the end. So. And then it ends on the C, 6, 9. Okay, if you like the video, please hit like and share. Have a great day.